Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we've got on the menu is potentially absorbing league action. It's Portimonense, and they take on Boavista. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. And now they get the ball rolling. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Well, possibilities in the centre, but dealt with efficiently. Who can they pick out? Nodding it over. Well, he was more determined than his marker, but he just couldn't get it on target, could he? And he read it superbly. Space and time for the cross. Cuts it back. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Moving forward effectively. Can he play it in? A bit sloppy in possession. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. G. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Showing a lot of guile there. Takes the shot. And a fantastic diving save. Well, he thought he might have got away with it, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench.
Not a short corner here. Cannon. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Electing to cross into the centre. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Physically strong and secure on the ball. It is to be a throw-in. Already closing him down here. Failed to keep hold of it. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Now they've lost it. Fabricio. It's with Carlinhos. Well, they have the ball once more. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Fabricio. Everton has it. Sebastian Perez. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Yusufa G. But he could run onto it here. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Everton. Fabricio. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And struggling to get the shot off. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Fabricio. And does well to keep it in play. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Fabricio. Decent position. Oh, a lovely ball. This looks interesting. An attack full of promise. And there to intervene. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Promising possession, this.
Fad Mufi. Fabricio. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. And a substitution in the offing. Well, as you can see, he gets there first, he makes good contact with the ball and finds the back of the net. That's a decent header. Well, the stats show us that the hosts haven't had that much of the ball, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Good-looking ball. Now he must favour the cross. Now making high pressing work for them here. Not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned. And it will be his last act of the day. He's off. Well, what was he thinking? It's a silly tackle, isn't it? G. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. They've given it away. Everton. Nakajima. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Everton. Oh, he looks threatening. Well, let's look at the replay. They move the ball so well, just waiting for an opening. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So, 2-0 now. Perez. G. Sebastian Perez. Gives it a go. Superb block. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Well, by playing keep ball like this. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well.
Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.